lot of people tonight. Maybe the catch of the year right there. High fly ball, well tagged this time, and Junior going back to the track. The wall makes the leap and makes the catch. Amazing catch by Junior as he takes a home run away from Luis Gonzalez. My, oh my. Perfect timing, and Junior receiving a standing ovation here. The pitch, and a high drive. Hit back into deep right field. Junior has just knocked the door down to the 500 club. A high drive into the lower deck and right. Number 30 touches them all. And boy, what a Father's Day gift for Senior. Getting his 500th home run to right field. What a scene this is here at Bush Stadium in St. Louis. The 20th member of the 500th home run club. That is cranked. Deep left. Gardner leaps. Did he grab it? He did! Oh, what a grab by Brett Gardner to rob C.J. Crone of a long ball. Wow. A beautiful summer night in Southern California from Dodger Stadium. Tonight we get the week started with the first of four between the New York Mets and the Los Angeles Dodgers. The two men you see there go head to head coming up next. Rich Hill a left hander from Massachusetts will be doing the starting pitching here. H.R. what's the word on him. Well, Matt, last outing, I would call it a gutsy performance. He pitched into the eighth inning, and then he got the loss. He gave you the length. He did everything you want to do. The competitiveness, all that is in his nature. He just wasn't able to close it out. So I'm looking for him to bounce back in this game, be able to execute, and maybe be rewarded for that loss from last outing and get a W. Here comes the payoff pitch. Hard ground ball to third. Turner's got it. Throw on to first will take care of Reyes, and that's how we get things started. And now a chance to meet the Mets. Who stands out to you, Danny? Well, Matt, I can't wait to see it. La Potencia, you want to Cespedes and keep it going. He's slugging over 550 on the season. A lot of home runs, a lot of doubles. That's elite power. That's elite slugger territory. Not a lot of guys in the game get to that territory, even some of the really good ones. Here's the third baseman, David Wright. His career batting line against Hill, one for three. And that's in there above the belt, so it's even now, two and two. Temperature here at game time, 61 degrees. Hit on the ground out to short. Throw to first is in time to take care of right, and that's the second out. Batting third. Digging in, Yoenis Cespedes. First chance for him here in the top of the first with nobody on. There's a fastball right over the inside corner, and then that's a pretty good example of why he's such a great pitcher. Yeah, stuff. Stuff is obviously the important key to being dominant on the mound, but it doesn't mean a whole lot if you don't have outstanding control to go. Well, the play's been made, and that retires the side. So not much happening here in the top half of the first. The Dodgers coming up, and we are scoreless. Noah Syndergaard. A right-hander from the state of Texas is the man on the mound here. What's your take on him, Dan? Well, this guy's kind of unique. How about a five-pitch repertoire that he has? That gives him a lot of options for both righties and lefties. And if he's on, he could be really tough to hit. And now is Yasiel Puig. He appeared as a pinch hitter in yesterday's contest. in the air out toward right field. Bruce has a read on it. One away. Time now to check out how the hometown Dodgers line up in this one. Harold what's the key for him against one of the best starters in the game. 
Well, Matt, I really like this offense. You know, they're top third in home runs, so they can beat you that way. They put pressure on you. This is a really good ball club, but I do like how they have guys throughout the lineup that can hit the ball out of the park. Now in the box, Jock Peterson. He comes in currently tied for third in home runs on the team. One out, nobody on. Hit pretty well out to deep left field. Cespedes racing back. And this is off the fence right in front of the Dodger bullpen. And he's in there easily at second with a one out double. Well, that's just textbook hitting right there. Balls away, stays with down with it, takes his head to the ball, and just flips it in the left field. Nice swing. Stepping up to the plate, Corey Seager. RBI opportunity for him here, and he's the guy you want at the plate, currently leading the National League in that category. One out and a runner on second base. A swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. Cespedes going back on it at the track, but he won't get there as it lands just shy of the wall. The relay throw, and the run will score as the Dodgers grab the early 1-0 lead. Well, there's one way to get our first one of the game across. Good hustle there on an RBI triple, and they're in good shape to possibly make it 2-0 with another base hit here. Into the box now, Justin Turner. And he puts it on the ground to second. Rivera picks it up. Only play is going to be a first, so score it as an RBI ground out as the lead moves to two to nothing now. Adrian. Here's Adrian now. Career numbers versus Syndergaard. A three for seven line. He also has one home run. A wave and a miss, a tick behind a good fastball. So let's take a look at our umpiring crew in this one. Working the plate, Rusty Valentine. Matt, my man, Rusty Valentine. I just like saying the name, Rusty Valentine. Okay, I'm supposed to talk about what he calls. Look, he's a little accurate on the corners. He's not going to give me much, but he's accurate. But if you go up and down, you might get some calls. I like that they went away with that pitch right there. They really tried to tie him up on that previous pitch, so he was probably what we call inside conscious. He didn't get a strike there, but I'm guessing he was looking for another ball in. And he three. comes back with a fastball. Strike three called, and the inning is over. So they get a couple of runs on two hits, no errors, and no one left aboard. On to the second now at Dodger Stadium. It's the Dodgers two, and the Mets nothing. Here's the center fielder Curtis Granderson. He's hitting in the 270s on the season coming into this one. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 2 pitch. And no swing, apparently. Ball one. Boy, a check swing on a pitch way out of the zone. Just held up, but boy, as a pitcher. You're hoping that he swings at that one. And did he go around? No, he did not. Ball two. Into the windup. Here comes the 2 2 pitch. Fouled back. Another 2 2 offering. Swing and a miss on the fastball, and that's the first out. All right, time for the majestic defensive alignment for the Dodgers. And down at first base, Adrian Gonzalez. You know, the one thing I like that he does probably better than any first baseman in the baseball is crash on the hitter in a bunch situation. He is convicted. He gets all the way in and dares you to swing. Very aggressive. Here's Jay Bruce now. He brings a rather ugly 230s batting average into this one. Into the windup. Here's the two and one pitch. And there's a pitch that just misses the inside corner. Harold, you look at this Dodgers team as they enter play here tonight. Well, they've been playing some pretty good baseball, five and two over their last seven. Yeah, Matt, I love these games. Two first place teams. I mean, you know you're going to get good baseball. You know they're going to be competitive, and they're looking across each other. What I really want to watch are the managers who makes the critical move at the critical time. 
Here's Lucas Duda now. First shot for him here with a runner at first now and one away. Working for the punch out and the offering. But he won't draw a throw. That's taken for ball four, and it's first and second now with one away. Well, this guy's been prone to giving up walks and bunches, and that's already two walks here in the early going. We'll see if this continues to be an issue for him as this start continues. Decent lead at second. Here's the pitch. This is line to left, and that's in there. Base hit. And a good throw is going to hold that runner at third, so they're loaded now with only one away. Whoa, he Nothing hit that in. one a little bit too hard. Second line base. drive single, but the runner at second had to hold up, so he's not going to score, but nice piece of hitting anyway. T.J. Rivera, and they roll the dice with the squeeze, and he gets it down, and he can't pick it up. That ought to go down as an infield single. That was a squeeze bunt to perfection. He bunts it where nobody can handle it or can't get it in time anyway to make a play at the plate. Excellent job. Stepping in now, Noah Sindergaard. That's on the corner to put him behind now, one and two. With two strikes now and a runner at first, do you go for the strikeout or are you still looking for the double play ball? Well, Matt, I think a lot of that depends on the type of pitcher that you are. If you're a power pitcher, you can go ahead and ride a fastball up in the zone, but if you're a guy that induces a lot of ground balls with a sinker, I think you have to stick with that plan. So he racks up the swinging strikeout on the breaking ball. Noah Sindergaard. Goes down for out number two in the top half. Two out, bases loaded. Don't let him score. Wait. Takes a look at a fastball down the middle for strike number two. He's got a chance to ring up back to back case here, and that would be huge in this situation. Trying to keep the one run lead. Here it is. Smoke toward third. A diving effort as it's off his glove. And they'll tie the ball game as the run scores, evening things at two. Well, that's a nice hit. We're right back the where we started with that RBI five. base hit. Right. The game is tied. Striding in once again, David Wright. Eighth batter of the inning now with the bases loaded and two away. set here's the 3 1 line hard to the left side but foul from the stretch grounder hit hard down the first baseline a dive but he can't knock it down it's through for a base hit and the second run will come across to score as they take the lead here four to two. I love that hit right there. Two well, runs driven in 50, 50. early in the game. That Yo, always is, lets every pitcher it. relax and now be aggressive. Let's see if these runs help their pitcher when he gets back on the mound. Standing in now, Yoenis Cespedes. Oh, Two and one. Well, this is starting to feel like a make or break moment in this game. When you're playing a first place team, you can't expect to fall way behind early in the game and then mount a comeback. Two and one now to Cespedes. He's fallen behind now. Three and one. Couldn't be a whole lot better situation to hit it now. Three and one, two on. He's got to be thinking he's going to get a pitch he can drive right here. The three one pitch. Line drive to left. Ethier is there to put it away and finally put an end to the inning. Nine men come to the plate for score. 
We'll go to the bottom half of inning number two. The Mets are out on top, four to two. Ready now, Yasmani Grandal. He'll start things out against Noah Syndergaard as this inning is underway. And a good sinker there gets him swinging for the first out. All right, time for the majestic defensive alignment for the Mets. And at third base, the captain, Captain America, David Wright. I love the fact that he still has great footwork. The first step may be as good as anybody in the history of the game. He can still catch it, but I love that first step. Now at the plate, Logan Forsythe. And as you check out his righty-lefty splits, no surprise that he hits better against southpaws than he does against right-handers. Into the windup, here's the two and one pitch. Swing and a miss way behind the big fastball. He threw that ball right by him. When you got a guy throwing that hard, you got to really just think about using your hands and just spread out and let your hands fly. They're going to be quicker than your bat is going to get to the ball. Bases are empty, one man out. Swing at a high pop up straight back, though it looks as though he'll have room back there. And he'll stay with it to put it away as they get their man here for the second out. Batting eight. Left at the plate is Andre Ethier. As you get a look at his current righty lefty splits entering play in this one. On the run, this one in on him, and he can't connect, so he finds himself down one and two now. Oh, man, he just tied him up in knots right there. This should end the inning as it's sent out to second. And indeed it will. He throws him out at first, and the side is retired. Some of our nation's young minds and future leaders here in attendance. Yikes. We'll come right back with more from Dodger Stadium in just a moment. In is Curtis Granderson. 0 for 1 here in the early going. From the windup, the 1-1 one, one pitch. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. And Granderson trying to work his way aboard. He's got it to three and one now. Call didn't go his way on two and one, but it's important here on three and one to still make a quality pitch. You have to have the mindset that you're still the one in the driver's seat. Fastball is taken for a strike, and he runs it full three and two. Looking to punch him out again, the pitch. Swing and a liner, but that's a foul ball. Oh, he hung that one. And man, did he bang it. Just didn't keep it fair. And another foul ball. I like that combination right there. Show him the curveball, and now that fastball sitting in the low 90s is going to look even faster. Nice job of mixing it up. Smoke toward the hole. And that is going to get on through. It's a leadoff single for Granderson. So that puts the leadoff man aboard to get the inning underway. A leadoff base hit, that's the last thing he wanted to see here to start the third Bruce. inning. He's already given up five hits. He's been struggling and pitching out of the stretch. Hasn't looked comfortable. This could be a short game for him. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Jay Bruce. No official at bat for him, but he has scored a run in this one. And Granderson runs. Three. Taken for strike three. The... It's right there, and Granderson is out trying to steal First second base. I think it was pretty apparent he was trying to steal that bag to keep them out of the double play, which the guy at the plate is certainly prone to sometimes. It's always a risk, though, and that time they cut him down. Into the box, Lucas Duda. 
right side defense aligned perfectly scooped up throw will go to Adrian at first and with it the side is retired nothing doing for the Metropolitans as they can't add to their four to two lead. Riding into the box, Rich Hill, as we move on to the bottom of inning number three. Pitch on the way. Towards second. Throw to first is in time for the first out. And with that, we give you a look at what's happening in the NL East race. Digging in to try it again. Yasiel Puig. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Ready with the 1-1 one -one pitch. Turned on that one and crushed it. Just pulled it a little foul. 1 and 2. Here it comes. Hit to third. Wright has it. Throw on to first. Two gone. Well, it's still early, but it's also worth noting that he'd be in line for the win if this keeps up as we take a look at the league leaders in games won this season. And as you see, he's right up there among league leaders in that department. Ready for another chance? Jock Peterson. He'll try to follow up the double in his last at-bat with another big hit right here. In there, two and two. Third inning here, already 4-2 our score. He got him. Lively fastball that time, and it puts an end to the inning. Dodgers down in order. They trail it here 4-2. to two. Digging in now, Rene Rivera. He reached on a single in his first try. Into the windup, ready with the payoff pitch. On the ground, up the middle. Seager scoops it up. Throw to first in time. One gone here in the fourth. Now batting. Second baseman. And that brings up the catcher, T.J. Rivera. From the windup, the 1-1 pitch. Takes a good curveball at the knees. A ball and two strikes. Here's the pitch. To two balls and two strikes now. We're in the fourth inning of a 4-2 ball game. Swing and a little blooper to center. Coming in is Peterson. He makes the play. Really had to hustle to get to that one. Two gone now. How about him? The pitcher. Noah. Digging in for his second at bat, Noah Sindergaard. He's 0 for 1 thus far. And here's a slider for a called strike, and he's behind 1 and 2 now. Well, Matt, if I use the cliche, it's not how you start, how you finish, it would apply right now. A couple innings ago, he had a rough inning. Didn't look good. But now he's starting to settle in a little bit better. He may be able to get through this thing. Seeger is there to make the catch, and the side is retired. Down in order go the Mets, but they still lead this one 4-2. Matt Vaskersian back with Harold Reynolds and Dan Plezak as the 2016 National League Rookie of the Year Corey Seager settles in to start things out. Here it comes on one and one. And here's a ball hit in the air. Here comes Cespedes, but he can't make the play as it finds the outfield grass. Not in time, and he's in there with a double. So quickly into scoring position here following the opposite field double. And as you can see there on the team leaderboard, he's currently pacing the club here as we approach the midway point of the season. So coming to the plate, Justin Turner. 0 for 1 with a run batted in thus far. No walks yet. Here's the delivery. Swing and that's hit out of play up into the plaza level. 
hit hard on the ground to second. And that's through for a base hit. And they'll get it in quickly. It's first and third now with nobody out. Well, Matt, this well, inning just got interesting. It's got a chance to be pretty big. You start the inning with a double, and now you get the single, and you're sitting first and third, and here they come. Into the box now, Adrian Gonzalez. One and two now. Two runs, four hits. No errors for the Dodgers thus far. And there's a pitch Gonzalez takes, and we're back even at two and two. Boy, if you're going to throw a pitch like that to this guy, you have to make sure it's up above the zone like that. He can't do a whole lot with that, but if it were a little lower, he can and will make you pay big time. The runner from third comes across to score as they try and chip away at their deficit. It's now a 4-3 ball game. Stepping into the box, Yosemite Grandal. One in, one out, and one on here in the inning. Now a ball hit high down the left field line, but back in amongst the spectators, foul. A 2-2 two and two count, here's the pitch. Shoots this one over to first. And a sliding attempt at first, but this sneaks by him, a base hit. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. Oh, he's looking for that double play ball. He got the sinker, got the ball hit on the ground, but it happened to find a hole. Stepping in now, Logan Forsythe. He swings and grounds it to short. There's one. Back to Duda, a double play, and the inning is over. Only one in the inning here for the guys in blue. We played four full. The Mets lead it four to three. Here's the shortstop now, Jose Reyes. He singled in two trips to the plate thus far. Into the windup, here comes the 0-2 pitch. Ripped on the ground to first. Oh, and he whiffs on it at first. It's right by him into right. Another hit, another multi-hit game. He has been on some kind of hot streak. They better start paying attention to him. Some action in the Dodger bullpen now as it appears they have both the lefty and a right-hander up and throwing. Standing in now, David Wright. That's in there on the outer half, one and two now. He broke out the slide step there, Danny. Yeah, he's clearly thinking about the steal right here. Didn't happen, but the cat-mouse game continues on. Sure enough, there goes Reyes. Hit strike three called, the throw. And it's not in time, so Reyes has himself a stolen base. I like the aggressiveness with two strikes to put the runner in motion. Sometimes that can backfire and it can turn into one of those strike him out, throw him out, double plays, but he was able to get there safely at second. Into the box, Joanna Cespedes. And he misses with that one down and in. It's a full count now, three and two. Waiting next is Curtis Granderson. Hoping to send him packing. Pitch on its way. Pitch swung on and hit in the air. Peterson giving chase. He makes the catch, and the runner from second will tag and hit for third. And he'll make it up to third on the fly ball as he's in there now with two away. Center fielder. Here's the center fielder, Curtis Granderson. A hit in two tries so far. And he just misses with a curveball. We're in the fifth inning of a four to three ball game here. Pulled toward right center field. Puig on the run. He gets there to make the catch, and that ends the inning. Mets leave one, but they hold on to a 4-3 lead. At the plate is Andre Ethier. Comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ballgame.
Now a pitch swung on and hit to the left side, but this is going to find the seats a foul ball. The 2 2 one more time. Ground ball sent back up the middle. Right there is Reyes. Throw. Got him, and that's a gorgeous play. Chase Utley will move into the on deck circle now to try to get something started here with one gone in the inning. Chase Utley. And this one is over, and he works the count back to two and two. That's a pretty good break right there, breaking all the way across the zone. That's a little dangerous. He gets to see that ball a long time. But, man, that's a nasty snap dragon hook right there. And a step on first for the out. Three unassisted. Right fielder number 66, Yasiel Puig. In now is Yasiel Puig. 0 for 2 on his line thus far. From the windup, the 1-1 one -one pitch. A fastball right down the middle for a strike. A ball and two strikes. Here's the pitch. Hit on the ground to third. There to get it is right. Throw in time and the side is retired. One, two, three, go the Dodgers. Score holds at 4-3. Adam Liberatore takes over to start the sixth the inning on the mound. Number 36, Adam Liberatore. Here's Jay Bruce now. 0 for 1 with a run scored thus far. Now the Dodgers get a right-hander up and throwing in their bullpen. The 1 and 2 pitch. To two balls and two strikes now. Hit well on the ground to first. And he'll step on first himself for the out. First baseman number 21. Here's Lucas Duda now. Lucas 0 for 1 Duda. for him here in this one. 4-3 our score here as we play inning number 6. Swing and a ball hit foul as this will find the seats in right. Once again, a 3-2. Lifted in the air out towards left center. Ethier's there. He hauls it in without any trouble, and there are two away. Now batting, catcher. Ready Rene once again, Rene Rivera. He's one for two in the ball game. He's set. Here comes the 1-1. One -one. And that one stayed too low, apparently. Gets the sign. Here comes the 2 1. Fly ball out toward left center field. Peterson on the run. He's there to track it down, and that'll end the inning. Mets go down 1 2 3, but they hang on to a one run lead 4 to 3. Riding in once again, Jock Peterson. 1 for 2 with a double on his line thus far. And a fastball swung on and missed as they set him down for the second time here tonight. Well, I have to give credit to him on the mound for not letting that previous so pitch get him. Five, he wanted it, stop. but he didn't get the call. Three, but I love how he didn't let it affect him. And he comes right back with another good pitch and gets the punch out. Into the box now, Corey Seager. Squared that one up just a little late. All even at two and two. Here it is. And a fastball blew it right by him, and there are two down. No better way to minimize the potential damage a cleanup hitter can do than to strike out both guys in front of him. Always a confidence boost when you can sit down the guys at the top of the lineup. Stepping in now, Justin Turner. He swings and sends it in the air to right center field. And Bruce will make the catch, and the inning is over. Dodgers down in order.
still down a run. It's 4-3. Back here at Dodger Stadium getting set for the seventh inning now with the Mets out on top but first let's check out the game summary through the first six innings of baseball. Pedro Baez is on the pitch from the bullpen now to start inning number seven. Pedro Baez. Digging in once again T.J. Rivera he singled in two trips to the plate thus far. Ready with the 1 1 pitch. And now a fastball, but he's able to hold off on it, and it's 2 and 1 now. And now some action in that Dodger bullpen as a left hander has begun to get loose. Nope. He's fallen behind now, 3 and 1. Time to focus here. This game is way too close to be walking, guys, so we'll see if he can make him swing the bat on this next pitch. And a good take there as they'll have a leadoff man aboard to start the seventh. It's ball four. Yeah, that strategy is now great when it works, but when it Better. doesn't, it's no ugly. One. And he Send was here to gone. face one guy, and he couldn't get it done. Coming to the plate now, Noah Sindergaard. He's 0 for 2 with a strikeout in this one. We're in the seventh inning now of a 4-3 ball game. Now a bunt attempt here. And a rather easy first out. Shortstop number seven. Ready for another chance. Jose Reyes. Two hits and three at bats for him in this one. And this will be fouled away. Again, he sends it out of play. He'll try it again, three and two. Another one sent foul. Making him work out there. The ninth pitch of the at bat coming up. Skied into very shallow right. Puig's got a read on it. Two down. And no tag at second. He'll head back there with two away now. The third baseman, number five. Ready for another shot now. David Wright. Trying to add some padding to their lead in the form of that run standing out there at second base. Looking to keep this a one run game, the pitch. And there's ball two now. Getting a few steps off a second there, now the pitch. Called strike that time, and it's even at two and two. We're seeing quite a few pitches up from him right now, and that can obviously be dangerous a cold strike there but he might need to lower his sights a little bit Forsyth dives and makes the stop what a play three thumbs up here in the booth following this gorgeous play at second base back with more Monday night baseball following this here's Adrian now he hit a sack fly earlier Looks like a left-hander has begun to get loose out in that Mets bullpen. Strike two called, and it's full three and two. Matt, I thought he might be in jeopardy of walking the guy here for the first time in this game. Went down 3-0, but he's come all the way back 3-2 now. And I think he'll just make the guy put it in play or put one on the corner. He's going that good. The payoff pitch one more time. Drilled to the right side. And a reach to his backhand, but he can't come up with it, and the leadoff man's aboard. Well, they're starting to run out of time late in the game. That's a big leadoff hit. I know they're down one, but that starts the rally. Let's see how they manufacture the rest of this inning. In now, Yosmani Grandal. A high fastball is in there. Look, Matt, this guy's got a great sinker. Here's the key. He's got a runner on first base. This is where you get that ground ball double play. Make them chase. A swing and a high drive to right center field. Bruce ranging back. 
to the track, but he can't get there. And a big break on defense as the tying run will be forced to stay at third on the ground rule double. Wow, if that ball stays in the park, we've definitely got ourselves a tie game. But it hops over, and the runner has to go back to third. That's a bad break, and now they'll have to find another way to get this game tied. Into the box, Logan Forsythe. He grabs it sharply to third. And that is through into left as he delivers. It's a base hit. And that will score the tying run. We're back to even four apiece. I love the late inning at bats when you come up clutch right there. Big hit to tie this game. Standing in now, Andre Ethier popped up. And the run is in to score from third. It's a 5-4 to four game. Well, that's a huge base hit. Anytime you get a hit late in the game to give you the lead in the ball game, you feel good about yourself, and his teammates are pumped up as well. Strap in slight. Will get a chance to swing the bat here, and he'll do it in a good spot as he has runners at first and second and nobody out in the inning. Five runs, nine hits. No errors for the Dodgers thus far. Well hit, but also well fouled into the seats and left. And he'll just get a piece here as this is chopped foul at home plate. Ready with another 2-2. And he'll take strike three called. And he needed that one badly on the mound. One away. The right fielder number 66. And now is Yassiel Yassi Puig. Puig. Been a rough go of things at the plate for him so far, but his guys are looking for him to change that right here. Yeah, nothing better than coming through for the boys in a tight game, Matt, especially when you're kind of due to do something productive. Grounder down the line at third. Throw won't be in time as he reaches it first. Well, there's a one out infield single, and you want you can start a lot of rallies with one out. He was hustling down the line. If you're pitching, you think, golly, that was so unlucky. Your attention, please. So they'll make a matchup move here and bring on a southpaw to face the left-hander to do up. Bases are loaded with only one out. Into the box now, Jock Peterson. And he'll promptly send it in the air out to center field. Catch made in center. Here comes the runner from third. And they'll go ahead and tack another to their lead as it's now a 6-4 to four ball game. Hey, every team is looking for that insurance run late in the game. That run right there gives them a two-run lead heading into the late innings. Here's Corey Seager. Three across so far in the inning and another two out there on base. Yeah, Matt, and this inning's really starting to get away from them on the defensive side of the ball. Stranding the rest of those guys out here feels absolutely essential for them at this point. Good battle here. This will be the seventh pitch coming up. A swing and a ball to left field. That's going to get down for a base hit. Ethier rounds third and is digging for the plate. The runner from second crosses the plate. Well, that's a big base hit right there. Now you got a three run lead. You always play to beat that bloop and that blast that can hurt you late in the game. And now they've got that cushion. In now, Justin Turner. He gets it hard on the ground to the left. And that'll get through past Wright and Reyes for a base hit. And not in time as the run scores. Well, that's a big hit. It's late in the game. That puts you up four runs. Now what happens is, late in the game now with a four-run lead? A grand slam can't Henry beat you if you happen to give it. one up. That's a big run. Into the box, Adrian Gonzalez. As it's on the ground toward the hole, Rivera brings it in. Pro goes to Reyes for the force, and that'll end the inning. So a very good outburst here as five runs come across and allow them to take the lead. Eighth inning coming up. 
It's the Dodgers eight and the Mets four. Yimi Garcia has been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eight. Number 63, Yimi Garcia. Here's the left fielder, Ioannis Cespedes. He's hitless in three at bats to this point. Full count here. Here comes the pitch. Now a swing and a fly ball. Ethier sprinting after it. He gets to it and makes the catch for the first down. Center fielder number three. But the Dodgers trying to close this one out in front of the home crowd here at Dodger Stadium as you get a look there at our line score through the first seven plus. Here's the center fielder Curtis Granderson. He's working on a one for three thus far. Here it comes on one and one. Takes a look at a fastball down the middle for strike number two. One out, nobody on. And a good cut here by Granderson, but this one's going to find the seats in right, a foul ball. Here's the one and two. And this is fouled back and out of play. A ball and two strikes. Here's the pitch. And he'll stay alive here as this is chopped foul at the plate. It'll remain one and two. Again, a one two. And he lays off it to even the count two and two. This guy's a good hitter. He's seen a lot of pitches already, fouling balls off. But as the pitcher, I got to keep throwing him strikes. And if he hits it, hopefully it's at somebody. Okay. This one sinks low and a touch outside. It's a full count three and two. He's set. Here's the three and two. And he looks at one that misses. And that's an excellent job of making his man throw a lot of pitches as he toughs out a walk. The right fielder, number 19, Jay. Stepping Bruce. in and ready for another shot, Jay Bruce. It's been an 0 for 2 effort for him to this point. He's ready. Here's the 0 2 pitch. Yanked on the ground down the line. But a foul ball, and the count holds it 0 2. Take something off, but it's 1 and 2 now. The intent with that changeup away was one thing and one thing only get a double play ball. Nice job to lay off it at the plate, though. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. Dribbled to the right side. Throw on to Gonzalez, and that's out number two. Here's Lucas Duda now. And with men on base and two away, it feels like this at bat could go a long way toward deciding this thing. No doubt, Matt. A base hit here changes this game quite a bit. But if they can't score here, it looks pretty bleak for them heading into the last couple of innings. And the good fastball there finds the zone as the count goes full now. Three and two. I don't know about his decision not to swing there. Hitters count. You get a fastball middle in. That's the one you drive out of the ballpark. And that misses ball four. So it's first and second now with two out. So that's the second walk he's worked in this one. Yeah, and that now seems to be a popular approach when this guy steps in. He can really hurt you with one swing. So I think the idea is mostly not to let this one guy beat you, Matt. And now action in the bullpen as their closer starts to get loose out there. Stepping in now, Rene Rivera. Tough slider over the inside corner for a strike. Two down, runners at first and second. And he swings on top of one here and chops it foul right at home plate. Well, he got a piece of that breaking ball right there. It's the second one he's seen in a row now, and he fouled that one off. Let's see if he comes back with a third one. Three in a row. And that's low, so a good eye there as he works the count back full. He's set. Here's the three and two. Good job to spoil that one away, and he stays alive. Another full count pitch home. Hit out towards second. On the first, and the Mets are going to come up empty here as that ends the inning. A couple of walks, but no damage. We're back with more on this Monday night. After
after this. Here's the catcher, Yasmani Grandal. Two for three with a double on his line so far. And now here comes Mets skipper Terry Collins out to home plate, and it looks like we'll see a double switch here. Rafael Montero will come on now, and he'll slide into the seven spot in the lineup following the double switch. Number 50, Travis Darno is into the ball game as well as he'll slide into the pitcher spot, hitting ninth now on the double switch. Travis Darno. Into his motion. Here comes the three and one. Chop foul over towards the dugout. Into the windup, ready with the payoff pitch. Over towards the dugout, but this one will get into the stands. There's a swing and a drive hit well out to right field. Bruce looking up. Out of here. A solo shot and they add another. A solo shot here to straight away right field. Seven home runs for him on the year now as this is now a five run cushion. Well, he clearly didn't miss that pitch. He's so strong. If you look at the extension on that ball, he just really muscled that ball to the ballpark when it comes down to it. Standing in now, Logan Forsythe. And a good spot for that pitch is it's chopped foul. Bases are empty here, nobody out. Swung on and missed. Really fooled him that time for the first out. Digging in and looking for more. Andre Ethier singled home a run in his last time up. Even at a ball and a strike, here's the pitch. Takes a fastball on the inside corner. One and two, here it comes. A fastball that just misses inside. Boy, that's a tough pitch to lay off right there, just out of the strike zone. But listen, when you're a 300 hitter, you don't chase a lot of those so called pitchers' pitches. This guy knows the strike zone. Pretty good pitch and a great take there. There's not a lot you could do with that slider breaking down and unless you can catch it way out front and hook it down the line. You see a lot of swinging misses on those. And he held up in time, but it's strike three called, and there are two down. You know, I'm not quite sure how that strikeout will be scored, looking or swinging. He tried to check his swing, but I'm pretty sure the home plate umpire was ringing him up regardless. Trace Thompson will get the call here as he'll hit for the pitcher. Number 21, Trace Thompson. Bases are empty here with two men out. And oh, he thought that was ball four, but it's called the strike three and one now. That pitch looked like it could have been a little high, but he's been calling that pitch all night. Kind of rough for a pinch hitter, but I'm sure his teammates let him know that's where the zone has been. Well, he fouls off that fastball right there, and you wonder, does he love his fastball enough to come back with it three times in a row? The next three, two. There's a swing and a missile sent out to center field. But that'll stay in the park as it's off the wall. And he'll make it in there with a two out double. Well one thing's for certain that makes the manager look like a genius right, right there. He calls on him to pinch hit hoping for any kind of spark and he gives him a little bit more than that blasting a double that almost leaves the ballpark big innings and we'll have to leave it there as this is strike three and that will retire the side but the Dodgers add on courtesy of this solo home run last chance coming up here for the Metropolitans it's the Dodgers nine and the Mets four another nice evening here in L.A. as we welcome you back to Major League Baseball on the show You're Sergio a Romo comes on now from the pen the hoping to finish this one off Number here in the top of the ninth. Sergio Romo.
Digging in to try it again. T.J. Rivera, a hit in two official trips to the plate to this point in the ballgame. And a swing and a miss. Good pitch there for the first out here in the ninth. Good job of making him chase a pitch for the strikeout there. Yeah, Matt, that's the advantage of getting ahead in the count. You can really force hitters to expand their zone and protect. And when they're in that mode, getting them to go after a pitch they can't do much with becomes a lot easier. One and one, here it comes. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. You know, something to keep in mind. They're really burning through that bullpen, and this is only the first game of the series. Definitely could have an impact on the rest of the series, and maybe even the whole week ahead. And he can't catch the corner here, so he's behind three and one. Three balls and a strike. Here's the pitch. And he takes ball four, so a good job out of the nine hole in getting on base as we go back to the top of the order. Shortstop number seven. Here's the shortstop now, Jose Reyes. Head to head numbers against Sergio Romo. Just a couple of matchups, no hits in two at bats. He's set, and the 2 1 pitch. And this pitch is hit foul off to the left and out of play, so the count goes to 2 and 2 now. Now a throw over and a dive, but he's back in. He's set. Here's the 2 2. Swing and a liner. And trouble aboard now is that's a base hit for Reyes. He really needed this big night to get going. Third hit tonight. He's setting the trend for the rest of this series. I'm curious how they're going to pitch him the rest of the way out. At the plate, David Wright. And these guys are making a little push here. You have to like the effort despite the odds. Yeah, you really do, Matt. Look, they still have a significant hill to climb, but hey, they string a couple of hits together here, and all of a sudden this thing feels doable. The 2 2 now to Wright. Got him swinging. Chased it well out of the zone, and there are two gone. Now at the plate, Joanna Cespedes. And he needs to make something happen. They're down to their final out here in the ninth. He's set. Here comes the 1 1. And they'll turn to the slider here, and it just misses. 2 and 1 now. Two men are on with two men out. Taken called strike two, and now they're down to their final strike tonight. A crowd of over 39,000 on their feet. Grounded back up the middle. He gets dirty, but he can't get there, and it's into center field. And a relay to the plate, and not in time as the run scores. Well, he really picked his teammate up right there with two outs and falling a strikeout to get the base hit and drive a run in. That is really a special feeling, but man, he really lifted his team up with that. Kenley Jansen gets the call here as he'll try and look for one out to finish this thing off. In now, Curtis Granderson. And he lays off for a ball, two and one. Career matchup numbers against Kenley Jansen. Just a couple of matchups, no hits in two at bats. Looking to minimize the damage here. And this will be a called strike two. And trouble now as they're down to their final strike tonight. Has them down to their final strike. Here it comes. 
Fastball didn't miss by much, and it's a full count now, three and two. Well, you don't want to get caught looking for the final out. That's a tough pitch to lay off. Impressive that he did. He's set, and the payoff pitch. Sliced hard on the ground, and that's through a base hit. They'll cash in here as the run is in to score from third. Well, sometimes you make the perfect pitch, and you still give up a base right hit. That ball was down, and he just scooped it Jay out and drove it Bruce. through the infield. Into the box now, Jay Bruce. Good wood on it there, but foul, so they'll do it again. Good lead there at second. Here's the pitch. Drilled to first. And he'll step on first for the out, and the ball game is over. Four wins in a row for these guys, and I'm sure they're feeling pretty good about themselves. We'll see how long they can keep this up. Nine to six, the final tally in this one. Pedro Baez earns his third win of the year in relief. Noah Syndergaard was slapped with eight earned runs as he takes the loss. So that'll just about do it. For Harold Reynolds, Dan Plezak, and our entire crew, I'm Matt Vaskersian. This has been a presentation of MLB The Show. For more, don't forget to check out theshownation.com. Here now is our final line score tonight. First for the victorious Dodgers. Nine runs, 14 hits. Cologne looking for his first hit of the year. Oh. He drives one. Deep left field. Back goes Upton. Back near the wall. It's out of here. Bartolo has done it. The impossible has happened. This is one of the great moments in the history of baseball. Bartolo Colon has gone deep. High deep drive into left field. Down into the corner.